What is up guys and girls and welcome back to the channel. Is your BMW 3 Series E92, E90 overheating? Well, it could possibly be your cooling fan is not working. Today, I'm gonna show you a $12 part that I use to fix this issue and how to test to see if your fan is working in a matter of five minutes. Let's jump right in. A super quick way to check if your fan is working is go over to where the coolant sensor is, AKA right here, unplug it while the car is running. The fan should turn on. If it does, you know the problem is not in your fan. I decided that my overheating issue was caused by a bad coolant temperature sensor shown here, and it can be removed with a 22 millimeter deep socket. Turn the ratchet counterclockwise and support it to make sure that you do not strip it out. I will provide links to the parts that I use, including the sensor in the links down below. It is always important to make sure to compare the sensors and make sure they're identical before installing the new part. Now take the sensor, twist it finger tight. take our socket and tighten it the rest of the way. Be very careful not to strip out its brass threads. They will strip easy. To reinstall the connector, press down on the metal tab, push firmly on the connector, then release the tab. Now it's time to bleed the system. I take BMW Concentrate, mix it with 50-50 distilled water. Make sure to shake it real good. Open your radiator cap and check your fluids. Take the bleed screw and open it all the way, or about four turns. To check the coolant level, look at the stopper and see if it's floating all the way up. If it's not, fill it until it is. Now reinstall your radiator cap and tighten your bleed screw. Make sure to use a battery charger or a small jumper pack and hook it up to the car while you're doing this process so you don't accidentally kill your battery. To activate the bleed procedure, push your key in, press the start button. Do not start the car. Make sure all the lights are on though. Now go to your temperature controls. Put the fan on number one fan setting, no higher. Turn your heater on and turn both fan controls to high. Now put your foot all the way down on the accelerator and hold it for 10 seconds. If you did this procedure correctly, you can go over to your overflow and listen very carefully and you should be able to hear water flowing. Set a timer for 12 minutes and do not touch anything on the car. After 12 minutes, go ahead and take the key out of the ignition, check your fluid level, and see if you need to add any more. Start the car. A quick check to see if the fan is working is turn your air conditioning on and see if the fan turns on. If it does, you're good to go and problem is solved. I wiggle mine a little bit and boom, my fan turns on, we are good to go. Let the car run for 25 minutes and recheck and fill coolant as necessary. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the content, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.